everybody, welcome to Kimmel's Irish Pub. Time for another movie review. Tonight's movie, I believe, is called Tolkien. Um, sorry, I'm not much of a reader, because this is a story of some author, J.R.R. Tolkien. Um, 6.9 on IMDb, that's one of the reasons I'm watching it. Um, and uh, also, I like Nicholas Holt. He is in this. I do like him as an actor, and I like Lily Collins, so... I figure 6.9, those two actors in it, even though it's not a subject that I'm normally interested in, I'll give it a shot. It's a biography during wartime um, about his formative years and how he finds friendship and with a bunch of outcasts and whatever. That's an hour and 51 minutes long, so I'm really going into this blind. If you're watching this, maybe you are too, maybe not. Maybe you already know a lot about this, uh, about him, but I'm about to learn a little bit of something here. So I'll start watching it, and then I'll come back and tell you at least what I've learned and what I know about the movie so that you can make the determination if you want to watch it or not, and then ultimately I'll tell you what I think. So stick around. I'll be back. Hey, everybody. I'm going to do a quick check-in here. We're watching Tolkien. We're at the 58 minute 36 second mark. The reason I know that is he corrects one of his professors, um, so he pronounces his name. So it's Tolkien. So, um, and it's just his story of, of growing up. It's, they're showing him in World War II. Um, it seems like he's traveling to get to the front lines to find one of his friends. Um, but he's flashing back to his life growing up. Um, and it's, uh, you know, it's how he lost his parents at a very young age, him and his brother. Um, and, but then was taken in by, um, uh, it seemed like a rich woman who, uh, provides him with good schooling. So he gets to go to school there. Um, and of course, as he's the new kid in school without actual parents or rich parents, um, he gets picked on a little bit. But luckily enough, this, uh, this hazing stops and they become friends. Um, and so he actually creates one of the uh, things I really like. He, he and his friends create like a, a pack together, to, a, um, a club. Um, and, uh, you know, of all their initials, that kind of thing. So they're friends forever. But it's a club about like changing the world via arts. So. He's obviously a writer. Another guy uh, plays the piano, I believe. We have an artist in there and a poet. Um, so, you know, that's that they hang out and they talk about that kind of stuff. And that, I think that's kind of neat. Um, you know, it would be great to be that talented to, to be able to have friends like that. But here I am. Um, <laughs> anyway, so that's going on. Um, and then he, in the house that he grows up in, this uh, lady who's not so much raising him but allowing him to live there, Lily Collins' character um, grows up there, and she plays the piano as well, and they, of course, start a relationship. Now, they're younger at first, grade school, and, and uh, they flash forward a little bit to, to when they're older, but one thing that I want to say, the, the younger version of Tolkien and Lily Collins' character look a lot like those two, Nicholas and, and Lily, as they're older. I thought, you know, sometimes they don't really care about matching the looks of a young person to an older person, but this one is is very spot on, and it, you know the kids got to be able to act. So, so I enjoyed that piece of it, um, you know. But otherwise, it's eh, it's not really that my cup of tea. I'm not sure if I'm a fan of you know period pieces, stuff that goes back to World War II. Sometimes I guess, but um, and it's very intellectual, um, you know. I mean, I, one piece I did like was. They're all reading from some book. I'm sure it's probably a well-known book. And the kid steals his book away from him. And the teacher calls on him to go ahead and, and read. And he just does it from memory. Showing how smart he is. So um, so that's where we are right now. They're, they have this relationship going on, uh, whatever. And something's going on in World War II because that's where he is in the present day. So I'll get back to it a little bit more. I think maybe now you have a better idea of at least what the movie's about. It's a coming-of-age tale of Tolkien. Um, J.R.R. Tolkien, and, uh, you know, um, we'll see what happens from here. I'll check back in at the end, or if anything else interesting happens from now until then, and uh, ultimately tell you what I think. So, so far, eh, okay. Not my cup of tea. But stick around. Things can change. I'll be back. Well, I'm sorry if my difficulties are getting in the way of women. Hey, everybody. We're at the credits of Tolkien. And uh, I have to apologize. That I mean, it, it finally dawned on me on who this person was. 
they kind of reveal it to you at the end of the movie. Um, and I had no idea, so I apologize. I know I, I must look like an idiot. So maybe you don't know, and I don't feel so bad, but Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit, he was the author of those. <laughs> um, so, oh, I, I didn't even think of it, but um, sorry about that. So I don't even know if I'll publish this review because it's just embarrassing. But anyway, more about this. It, it got a little boring for me. Um, you know, it was interesting now that I pieced it all together, like, wow, um, you know, what he went through, you know, as a young adult, um, in order to become the author that he was, um, you know, but it just, I got, I found myself losing interest, checking football scores, you know, things like that, um, but, you know, and, you know, the love story was nice, I don't, I don't know what happened to his brother, I might have missed it, I kind of, I wasn't paying attention, but that kind of faded away. It really centered on his group of friends, um, which was, I, I like that aspect of it, and then their involvement in the war. I assume they all get drafted, um, and they all participate in a the war there. Um, and I don't want to go into too much detail in case you do want to check it out, but, um, you know, it was all more about that, and, um, you know, his friendship, his, his love story, and then ultimately who he becomes. So, um, that's really it. I don't got much more to say except for how embarrassed I am. I think that's good enough. It's uh, a little dry. Um, again, it, it didn't interest me, and I don't know if it's because of the time period, you know, those types of things, or maybe that I didn't know who it was until the end, <laughs> you know. Um, so it might be more, you might be more interested in it than, than I am, but uh, that's all I got for you. I don't want to ramble on. Um, that's it. If you watch it, love to hear your comments on the movie. Uh, and thanks for tuning in. Hopefully I helped a little bit. Kimball's Irish Pub.